Liga e manda mensagem todo dia. Mãe, é faculdade, não é curso de sobrevivência. Vai ficar tudo bem. Verdade ou desafio? Tá, verdade. Você é virgem? Desafio. Eu desafio você a beijar o Hardy. Eu cansei desse joguinho. Ah. Gostei dessa garota. Oi, gente. Eu tô aqui com o elenco de After e com a Ana Todd também. E eu vou fazer umas perguntas pra eles, porque eles estão aqui no Brasil e a gente quer saber mais sobre o filme. Hi, guys. How are you? Good, good. Are you enjoying Brazil so far? Yes. yes. We haven't, we haven't been there very long. No. We just especially, had some really good food, the, though. Yeah. So, what do you expect from the country? What are your expectations for Sao Paulo and this kind of things? Sorry. I've been, I've been mm -hmm. told that the fans were quite enthusiastic. They've definitely lived up to that description. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, how was this interaction with the fans? It was great. Um, overwhelming, definitely, but no, it's really nice to see, you know, how much they love it and to be able to show, you know, make them so happy. So it's yeah. Great. Yeah, same. It's it's just I mean it was it's very rewarding. You I already know here, yeah. the fans, but <laughs> yeah. they are like how they differ from other fans from other countries. Um I mean it's just the kind of intensity, like the passion. Um it's just like a little bit more. Like I don't want to say that because then the other fans around the world are going to be like, "What? We're not we're passionate too." But there is something different about Brazil that I love and that's why I keep coming back. Do you know any word in Portuguese? Obrigado. Hola, oh, oi. Obrigado. That's what I'm going to say. Yes. <laughs> okay, and have you tried any food, any Brazilian food that you remember? No, yet, not yet. Yeah, our first meal was 15 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. We had some really good oh, food last night. I can't remember yeah, yeah, the sorry. names of anything. Yeah, me neither. It was all delicious. Oh, okay. um, yeah, we did get like very traditional, like typical food. Though. Yeah, we Lots tried of all fried of cheese and, and good good meat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And caparinas or caparras. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, do you know what is brigadeiro? Yes. 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 Do. yes. Have you tried? So good. I think is that what I just tried? No, that was. Pasaquina? No, I don't think No, you I haven't have. tried it. It's like a fudge ball with like sprinkles, like a chocolate mm, one. I've um, tried it. You'll try it before we leave, I'm sure. It's I've had it a bunch of times, it's so good. Do you think your characters have anything in common with your own selves? She looks a lot like me. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Just physically. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would say we're both organized and we're both sort of... I don't know, pay a lot of attention to detail and can get really passionate about things, but we also have a lot that's not in common. It's just, it's 50-50, I think. Did you think I was similar to Harden when, when, you, when I was cast? Mm-hmm. Just from saying like, hi, how are you? Yeah, you know, just like you're like, just like you're kind of like attitude in the best way and like your mm -hmm. confidence and the way you just like, the, your voice too was like really weird because I was like, that's kind of what it was in yeah. my head. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm told I'm quite similar to him, but I tend to focus on the differences more than the similarities because that's what requires more attention as an actor. And I feel like the things that are quite similar just naturally come through. Yeah, and like the sense of humor, like his is definitely darker than yours, but the, there's like a sense of humor that he has with Harden. He, I haven't seen any of the like kind of more complicated parts of Harden um, in him, but de there's just something that's really similar to me. Okay, now we're speaking of first impressions. What did you think of each other when you met? I feel like in like a professional environment, you don't really, you don't, you're not like, I don't know. You're, you're not judging. Kind of, yeah, <laughs> you're just like, hi, how are you? Like, you're more we, conscious we met, of yourself, I think. We met in a hotel lobby, and then literally as soon as we met, we started walking to, to uh, hop in an Uber to yeah, go to dinner. Yeah, so I mean. I, I mean, we started talking pretty It was good to meet before we met everyone else. We hadn't like had a proper sit down with the director and producers and stuff. So we met yeah. in the hotel before and then went to the dinner. So we kind of had a head start. Yeah, and I, the first time I physically met Josephine, um, we went to a dinner and then we just like, her and I stayed alone after and just like talked. And then it was like hours and hours later <laughs> and we're like, okay, that was fun. So I just yeah. immediately, I just felt so comfortable and like we just got along so quick, so fast. And the same with him when I, met him like outside of just an audition room or casting room. It was the same of just like click to where even if we wouldn't have clicked the movie would still be great, but it just does help to have like actual relationships in our actual yeah. lives. Well, some people think that the relationship that Harding and 
you have in the in the film is like a little abusive in a certain part of one of way but I want to know what do you have to say about it do you think it is really abusive or Can they say in the film? Uh, no they haven't but I, mm -hmm. I mean like they have already yeah. read the right. I, mean, I think the, I think the book and the film they're very you know they're different things just naturally because when you're adapting like a 600 page novel to a film it's gonna be different and there are a lot of really key changes made to adapted to a 2019 audience. I, I, if they watch the film, I wouldn't worry. <laughs> yeah, um, like she said, a lot changes from the book to the film, and I think we were very, very conscious of all those aspects when making the film. Yeah, and the same for me. I think there's definitely um, a difference. Everyone's subjective, though. Like, as a writer, my job is to tell the story, and everyone can feel how they feel, but I feel like most of the people that have said this to me haven't read the entire series. They'll just see like a tweet from someone that says it and then they don't actually understand the complexity of it. I think that it's unfair to tell a writer or any kind of creative person like, you can't write this because it's a bad relationship because there are millions of relationships like this. Um, and I took the conscious effort of having, you know, separation and therapy and all these things for the characters that I feel like it's so dismissive to just say like, oh, it's abusive. It's like, there's so much more layers to people than that. And what is your favorite scene in the movie? I keep saying the light. I keep saying um, uh, there are a few hours, there was a period of time when we were shooting uh, one of the scenes of the light where it was just really nice because it was like very hot and it was a very cool lake and we got to have a swim. My favorite scenes to watch are probably the ones with Dylan. Uh, he, plays, yeah. he plays Noah. I just find him. So, he just plays the role. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't. I wasn't seeing. I didn't see any of it when they were filming. Yeah. So it's only when I watched the film back. It was all new to me. I found some of his bits yeah. hilarious. I love the surprise. <laughs> it her face is like with the flowers. Yeah. Mine, the lake scene, just because it's so beautiful. Like Jenny Gage did such a, and Tom and Adam did an amazing job at making everything so visually beautiful that even though like being there, I was like, it's beautiful, but it's hot and muggy and there's mosquitoes everywhere. But on the film, it's just so visually appealing and it's one of my favorite scenes from the book. So I'm really happy with the way the lake scene turned out. So you want to leave a message for your fans here in Brazil? Hola, oi. <laughs> If you are free on the 11th, 10th, 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 10th of yeah. April, come see after. And we thank you so much for all your support while we've been here. It's been, it's been extraordinary. So we can't wait to come back. O que que aconteceu? Tem a ver com Harding. Tá rolando um lance, mas não é o que pensa.